Okay, uh, we are making a descent down in this old slope mine. <clears throat> Goes back to the 1870s. <clears throat> Mr. Box is way out ahead. And uh, checking to see how far the water level has dropped in this mine. Looks like it has dropped <laughs> considerably. So, I've uh, got some old work passageways there. You got steel I beam supports. So I'm going to head down there and uh, we're going to see what we can find. Okay, right here is normally where the water line is. You can tell by the yellow cake, it's all over these steel I beams. We've got a old work passageway. All of this has been underwater. So Mr. Box is heading up in here. So uh, for decades, this uh, section. Down below, the water, it's, it stays constant. The only thing it, it'll do is rise and fall depending on the rains. So right now, uh, it's way down. So that's why we wanted to check this out. See if there's anything of historical interest in these passageways or even actually on the uh, slope itself. So... Big timber bra uh, roof braces right there, man. Look at that. So heavy that they actually stayed there underwater. Amazing. So, all right, head a little bit further down here. Okay, uh, it is too dangerous to go down that slope. It is way too slippery. You could uh, slip and break your neck, man. So Mr. Box is gonna utilize one of the manway passages. That's where I'm going to go, safer. So, credible engineering. I would just, uh, I would love to know how they, how they did this with these I beams. Herculean work, man. So, all right. Let me see. Look at all the uh, big heavy-duty timber supports here. There's Mr. Box's light down there. He may have found a water pump system, which would be really nice to find. I've only seen uh, one other water pump in a mine. That's because the water had dropped. So, all right. Uh oh, Mr. Box just. Yelled at an expletive. I think he found something. So, all right. So, uh, coming up to the uh, manway. This was uh, where they took. Uh, it was called the Man and Materials Way. This is where they took uh, the horses and the mules down. But years later, they converted it uh, for the uh, water pipelines because they were always pumping water out of these mines. So. That's where the pipelines are, electrical cables. You can see they reinforced it with the I-beams. So pretty, like I said, man, pretty impressive. So. All right, let me get around this where it, uh, and see, uh, see what we can, so we can get to. Okay, had to get around, do a work around with all these massive water pipes. So Mr. Box found something pretty cool up there. And you've got just timber laying everywhere. All this has been underwater, man. Maybe with the exception, well, it's even on the ceiling, so it's been completely flooded. Right here. Let's see if I can get over here without slipping. Just got to really be careful on this stuff. It may look dry, but it is wet underneath.
This isn't going to be, this will be back underwater before long. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that, man. Look at Mr. Box found that. See all that? Underwater. But right there, it says 1940. That's when they put these I-beams in. Somebody, some of the miners were proud of their work, weren't they? First time they ever seen anything like that. That's incredible. Yeah, that is. Well, it's down about a good 200 feet. That's the 200 feet plus, so. And you hear that water coming down. All right, well, Mr. Box is doing some serious daredevil work here. He's jumped up on top of the I-beams to get a better picture. Uh, that's not for me, man, but he, he is ambidextrous. So, yeah, that is really neat, man. 1940, put it on, when they put those I-beams in. That is pretty cool. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. Never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I should break it so Jeff and Ronnie can't see it. All right, so I'm gonna leave him to his thing, and I'm gonna turn around and head back. All right, taking a well-deserved break. Change out some batteries in these lights. Drink some Gatorade. Take it easy. Mr. Box is way further down there. Checking out some of those other passageways. And you just hear that water. You see some of the water is just flowing in here. So all this stuff that we looked at that the water line had receded, in no time flat, it'll be... It'll, it'll be back up where the yellow cake is halfway up that I beam. Give it another month. So, when they shut these mines down, turned off the uh, water pump systems, uh, it was just a matter of uh, two or three months and trillions of gallons. I mean, no kidding, trillions of gallons of water. It just flooded the mine. So, anyway, it's uh, remarkable to be able to you know, explore these sections above the waterline. Very historic. So, all right, I'll catch up with Mr. Box here shortly. Okay, so we're leaving the slope right there. So we're making our way back up. So we're coming over the head left and right manway passages. So this is another access point they took the mills and the horses down. You can see the remains of a wheelbarrow right there. As I would see, seen a few of them in the mines. Right there. Not much left of it. That's as far as you can go. They had a total collapse there. And uh, you can see where they had the uh, steps. Right here. Going up. Pretty, pretty neat. I tell you, they put a lot of work in these mines, man. A lot of work. So they 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 just hollowed that out for the ore. Looks like you can get up over that thing, but I'm not so inclined. Uh, we're gonna be just slowly making our way up out of here. 
You can see that's the remains of a probably 120 year old pine tree right there. Hey man, nice breeze coming from somewhere. Uh -huh. I go over there real quick and have a quick look. Right. Okay, moved into this other area. Here you can see up through those breakthroughs, that's uh, another work header. You got uh, tramway rail sections right here. You see the gaps right there? That's where the wood used to be. It's about 35. Ceiling's about 35 feet high right here. That's worked out 120 years ago, man. See if we can get up over there. Got a breakthrough over here. Just curious to just uh, see what that looks like. Oh yeah, see that? They did a lot of this stuff just for ventilation. See the remains of the rails here. So we'll see about getting on up up there. If not, we'll head on back this way, join up with Mr. Box. But there's another section of the mine right here. All right. Okay, came up through that uh, breakthrough. Not going to go all the way back there. It just keeps going for a long distance. And so we're going to turn around and join up with Mr. Box. So you're about getting on up out of here. It's kind of curious. You can see they had this thing lined with timber supports. Amazing it's still standing. Get up over this slopes just up ahead manway continues on up around the corner so all right that's kind of unique right there there's about 20 maybe 25 feet tall timber supports for that stove right there still in place over 100 maybe 120 year old uh trees so all right Let's get on back down out of here and uh, see about joining up with Mr. Box. All that water. It's looking down the Manway Passage. There's another one still standing. Uh, some more of these. All right. So this takes a head back to the slope. And uh, we're going to go ahead and close it on out here. That's pretty impressive. Right there. Wow.
back of the main slope. So, all right, nice little underground expedition here. We'll go ahead and close it on out. And join up with Mr. Box and see about uh, getting on up out of here.